Safety concerns after Silverstone and delays to engine regulations. GP fans this Thursday is looking into the past and the future before the Austrian Grand Prix coming up this weekend. Follow gpfans.com and gpfansglobal on Twitter, Instagram and TikTok for all of the build-up to the Austrian Grand Prix. But let's get into today's headlines. The chairman of the Grand Prix Drivers Association, Alexander Wurtz, has suggested he has launched talks with FIA President Mohammed Ben Salayim over safety concerns prompted by two horror crashes at the British Grand Prix this weekend. Both Zhou Guan Yu and F2 driver Roy Nissani were saved from tragedy by the Halo device, but safety failings in both incidents have raised concerns. For Zhou, the collapse of his Alfa Romeo's roll hoop left the Chinese rookie skating along the track along his Halo. Referring to another case of a roll hoop failure on social media, a crash in which the former Williams, McLaren and Benetton driver was a part of, Vert said, Last time, as far as I can remember, an F1 roll hub collapsing was with Pedro Diniz, Nuremberg 99, jumping over me. This led to stricter crash tests requested by GPDA, swiftly executed and implemented by the FIA. Dear Mr. President, please check your inbox. We got more work to do. Wurtz went on to question sausage curbs and their use in the sport, particularly after they were a major factor in last Sunday's F2 incident. They were also a big reason as to how Lewis Hamilton found Max Verstappen's car on top of him at Monza last year, with the big rotund curbs able to ping a car into the air, with many others in the sport like Wurtz feeling their use adds to the danger on track rather than aiding safety. Elsewhere, Red Bull team principal Christian Horner has revealed F1 still needs to tidy up the details of the 2026 power unit regulations before teams can vote on finalising plans. The vote from teams has been delayed to the next F1 commission meeting at the upcoming Austrian Grand Prix, having battled contention over the compromises needed from current participating OEMs in order to entice new manufacturers to the sport. The clearest indication yet of an impending confirmation was given after the World Motorsport Council's convention at the end of June, where it was announced that the 2026 engine regulations would be ratified in October. Asked about the reason for the delay to the regulations being finalised, Horner said, You've got technical regulations, sporting regulations and financial regulations that all need to be clear, plus obviously what the governance is going to be from 2026 onwards. So I think it is that package that needs tidying up. It is largely there, so it really is in the hands of the FIA now. And yeah, I expect hopefully we will have a bit of an update at the Formula One Commission. Alpine boss Otmar Safnauer believes the delays come from the fine details being sorted to make the sport a level playing field for new engine suppliers entering F1, with Porsche and Audi set to join Mercedes, Red Bull, Ferrari and Renault as engine suppliers in 2026. More on those stories and everything else in the build-up to the Austrian Grand Prix on gpfans.com.